Hey you guys, I'm Lex with Play99.5, the host of Daytime with Lex, and I'm sitting down with the absolutely brilliant Kat Dahlia. Hi! Hi, thanks so much for sitting down and talking to Thank me today. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. We're I'm very excited. happy to have you. So how are you finding out Mon so far? Honestly, I've, honestly, the most experience I've had is with the people, and everybody's so warm and welcoming, and like I just feel the energy of everybody that I've met so far, and it's been incredible. I honestly got here so late last night, but so far, so good. I'm actually just super excited for the show. <laughs> <laughs> We're all yeah. excited. So what are you excited to do while you're here? We're definitely going to Petra. Uh, Wadi Brahma here is incredible and amazing as far as like a natural, like the naturalness of the place. And I don't have a lot of time. If I had more yeah. time, I feel like I'd explore more. I'm gonna try to wake up at four in the morning right before my flight and see the Dead Sea. But I don't. I don't know. Your, if you take, get a chance to go, then your skin's gonna feel amazing. really okay. It's like the best. Then I have to do it. You can't stay in for more than like fifteen minutes. I made that mistake once. And, and what it, do you like prune? You just look like it's a like raisin? your soul prunes. Like it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so you get to travel to a lot of amazing places as a musician. What are your top three cities and why? Okay. Um, well, I was just in Honolulu. Um, and that for a show and that was incredible. Uh, I love Hawaii. I've been there before for shows and it's one of my favorite places to go. Berlin mm -hmm. and then um, top three. Honestly, Miami. Being home. Being home with my family and being able to do a show with my entire family and all my friends there is always yeah. one of my favorite things to do. Awesome. Yeah. So speaking of Miami, how did growing up in that kind of vibrant arts and culture influence your music? There's such a clash of culture in Miami that I grew up with a lot of hip hop, I grew up with a lot of reggae, and I grew up with a lot of salsa merengue and Latin influenced stuff. And that's to definitely what I gravitate to as far as like my music goes. But then I as well personally love like eclectic alternative things, so it's kind of a mashup of everything. I love that. Mm -hmm. I can definitely get the sense. Yeah. You're not afraid of color. No. Miami is not a great color. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what was the moment in your life that you realized this is what you're meant to do? I don't know if it felt like it was what I was meant to do, but it was what I wanted to do. Yeah. And I don't know how much of a difference there is between those things, but Absolutely. I definitely grew up like seven, I remember like six, seven, eight years old and just like, just obsessed with music and obsessed with singing and just looking in the mirror and singing as much Whitney Houston as I could. And um, as far as I can remember, it was just everything, I just constantly imagined doing yeah. it. I don't know when there was the moment that I was like, this is it. It was just always something I wanted to do. Yeah. I don't know no, I feel like as an artist, you get moments that just they make it clear to you that this is your own right path. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, even, even throughout my journey sometimes, just like with anybody, I think you constantly have challenges and things that kind of like make you feel like, you know, music is what I do, mm. it's not who I am. Okay. You know what I mean? I mean, I think that's what people, sometimes you're just like, yeah, I'm an artist and that's what I am. I'm so many things, you know? Right. I'm a daughter, I'm a sister, I'm a granddaughter. I'm, I'm a musician, but I'm also a truth seeker. I'm. Um, I really love archaeology. I'm like, I have a lot of things that I love. I don't like to define myself just by music, but music is definitely an outlet for me mm. to express myself. That's my favorite outlet. Absolutely. Mm. So growing up, what were your biggest influences, musically or just otherwise artistically? Musically, my biggest influences were, I think Bob Marley, B.B. King, Michael Jackson, George Clinton, um, 50 Cent, um, man, who else did I love? Lil Wayne, <coughs> Lil Wayne was huge for me. Uh, Juvenile, all the hot boys. Um, who else? Who was like a big singer that I loved? Oh, I mean, I loved Frank Sinatra. I loved, um, I loved Dean Martin. I loved, uh, Miles Davis, Louis Armstrong, Ella Fitzgerald. Um, Chet Baker. I don't know. I um, there's so many different. Yeah, Nirvana. I loved Kurt Cobain's voice. I love Sublime. Um, who 
else was an amazing vocalist? Queen. I oh. just saw the movie. Yeah, these are a lot. These are a lot. <laughs> we could go on. But so what? Do you like music? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as yeah, like as a kid, those were, like I, man, I had definitely like Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, cool. what's that? What was that? So, dream collaboration, living or dead. Who is it, and what would that track sound? <laughs> Um, that one's so hard, but I guess the first person that comes to mind is Ella Fitzgerald. I think Ella Fitzgerald, and we would do some type of like pop, jazz, um, kind of, um, how do you say, improvisation. Yeah. Yeah. That and we would just improvise the whole time and we would just jam and put, put it on record. I would definitely pay a dollar to yeah. Oh. <laughs> so what is the main message that you want your fans to take away, not just from your music, but just from who you are? Um, that's a good question. I guess, I guess oh, the overall message is, at least with a song like Gangsta and just some of the things I do is that, I don't know, I guess, I guess it's, it's to empower yourself, mm -hmm. to believe in yourself and to not always listen and, and focus and pay attention to what you see on social media or what you see on TV and to just kind of do you. We're constantly comparing ourselves to what's going on. And I feel like it creates a lot of separation in our soul. Like our soul kind of starts to divide and we're just like, oh, not feeling sure of anything. And I think if we can listen and create more things that make us feel strength in our uniqueness, then we feel good about ourselves and we can live kind of more fulfilled, happier lives. Sorry, that was super deep, but No, I love of. that. I love strength and our uniqueness. I yeah. think that's a really beautiful sentiment. Yeah. Well, that's all the questions that I have. Okay. Thank you so much for thank sitting you. down and talking to me. And thank Lord you guys boy. for watching. Hey.